Right, new day, new job. Here we go. Leak searching. This is one of our big leakers, so we're going through the whole circuit. We had to bust out all the asphalt and uh, get to the hole, so we're going to go down there in a bit, check it out. And uh, when we opened it, it sounded like uh, already a hissing, so we're going to check it out. All right, stand by. Hey, you didn't want me to say your name, right? Eric? Oh, come on. Say hi to your mom. <laughs> All right, stand by. So here we are down here, and uh, here it is. Somebody already had put a Band-Aid on here, so what we're going to do is put a, a newer Band-Aid so it stops leaking like a giant pig, you could say. And uh, later on, pick it out so we could... Uh, Rewipe this end and seal the leak. All right, stand by. All right, so now that we found our leak, now what we're going to do is go back to the station and uh, block the alarm, drop the pressure to about four, two pounds, two psi, and then uh, this so we can take all this off and see how bad uh, the leak is, where it is. It's either in the lead cable or where the wipe is, uh, so it's always different. And then so we can get an accurate uh, spot where the leak is at. But that's what we're gonna attempt to do right now. Meantime, we're gonna drain the sleeve as we've done a while back. There's the plug down here. As you can see, we're gonna open it up, drain the sleeve of oil, and uh, continue on. All right, step by. All right, so what we're gonna to attempt to do first is drain our sleeve, see what, what amount of oil's in there, and then we're gonna to proceed to take all this off once we get the okay from my coworker that <clears throat> we can take all this off because he lowered the pressure, and this way it's not as bad seeping out, plus trying to put the temporary Band-Aid where it won't blow it out. All right, step by. All right, so we're gonna attempt to open it up so we can drain the sleeve while we're off. Some of these last a few minutes. Sometimes they're, they're pretty fast to, to drain because they've been drained before and it's not accumulating that much oil in it. <clears throat> and this one's got double holes on it so it's going to drain pretty fast as you can see already you hear the bubbles already the nitrogen gas pushing the oil up pretty fast close it up a little bit so it'll slow down and maximize the uh oil being pushed out. <clears throat> As you can see, there wasn't that much oil in it. The other ones have had a lot. bit more and that should be pretty good because it's just blowing the nitrogen. Oh, 
All right, stand by. All right, so she's all tied down, tightened down, and I'm gonna take this out of the way, but as you can see, it wasn't that much oil in it. Some are good, some are really, really full of oil, so all right, stand by. All right, so we're heading towards cutting the, all this off. I already loosened this up, so it's, we're letting the uh, nitrogen go down, trying to get down to two PSI, as you can hear. Plus at the station, we already uh, lowered the gas, so we can take all this off. It's not gonna be seeping, sipping real uh, big time. So we're gonna go for it and cut it in a bit. Stand by. All right, so we're gonna cut this uh, Band-Aid off, as I call it, and see what she looks like so we can uh, put another Band-Aid until we're able to get the circuit out. And then we'll be able to fix it perm. But right now we're gonna try to cut all this tape off. It's pretty tough because it's been here a long time now. stuff in here so with that we might have to just put a bandit over that because this is a uh, some other kind of stuff that they put on there maybe the the leak is bigger than we think it could be now a slit on the actual lid so I don't want to disturb it any more than that then if this it would be okay if we had the actual just silicone and tape but this is probably covering a lot more alrighty stand by for a second so what we decided to do was uh, just take the uh, three quarter off and retape it because of that other sealant they got there might be worse than I think so with that we don't disturb it too much but at least we'll stop the leak at the station and uh, get this done ASAP because this puppy seeping big time and as long as we can slow down the leak then we got it made get it out So what we're doing is taking the tape off and this was already busted inside the tape. That's why it's seeping, as you can see right here. And like I said, we're gonna take it off so we can just put some more tape on there. All right, stand by. All right, so this is all the disturbance we're gonna do for it. And we're just gonna retape it and tighten the boss nut back up and try to get it out of ASAP. I believe it's cracked down here because of the type of stuff that they put on there. <clears throat> and uh, I don't want to disturb it now. Sometimes you leave things alone to prevent something bigger happening. All right, stand by. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put some rubber tape and two inch and three-quarter scotch just to seal it back up as best we can and get this one ASAP out de-energized so we could uh, expose all of it and see how bad the problem is and uh, go forth from there so <clears throat> let's rubber take this puppy Nope. 
some of your guys' mind by like putting rubber on there. Earl but called back, he said right now that he opened up the main yeah. and he's leaving them at two PSI pressure. Okay, cool. Uh, he said thank you. Okay. Sorry, Carlos. So, are you putting, I don't know, were they still in the home? It's 1130. Are we going to do five bills after this? Yes, sir. He's asking. Yeah. Just, okay. I'm going to just uh, tape it up and then uh, we'll do it. Alright, so, yeah, so after this, they don't, uh, we don't take five more. Like uh, you have another room? Yeah. Open it up for me, please. Uh, is it okay if you just leave the bottles as they are right now? Yeah. He said, yeah. Is he going to take off? Yo. Hey, so we should slow down the leak. Said just to finish and slow down the leak, slow down the amount of nitrogen that we're putting into this cable. Yo, three quarter and uh, three quarter. Three quarter. Yeah, she did. Leaking over 2,000 psi almost a day. It's such a big leak right now. Hopefully, we can slow it down for a few days, and this way we can get it out and rewipe it or or seal it or whatever we gotta do. But like I said to everybody, ten picks. Don't get excited. I can hear some of you guys already. What the? on just to cover it so we don't be using up a lot of nitrogen to keep the circuit going all right so with that that's it for now because uh we couldn't take it all the way off i think we would have made it worse by doing that than to uh, take it apart once we take the circuit out. Alrighty, stand by. Alright, so I tightened up, tightened up the boss nut, so we have to make sure that doesn't leak. Alright, looks good. Stand by. Alright, with that said, we're all closing it up, putting everything back, and we'll be back to re- uh, you wipe and take care of it. All right, stand by.